with the long overdue and critical letter of ascertainment that set in motion the formal transition of power, allowing the president-elect to receive briefings on national security and coordinate the government's response to the pandemic, which is expected to kill 400,000 Americans by the time Biden assumes power next January, Trump has all but conceded and started his lame duck final weeks as commander-in-chief. He is no longer a constant fixture on television. His presidential tweets have become more rare, if still boisterous, while the pandemic continues to wreak havoc. His only concern appears to be his desperate attempts to undermine the outcome of the election in the eyes of almost 74 million Americans who voted for him, instead of working with the incoming administration on a plan to roll out promising COVID-19 vaccines. After a burlesque press conference by President Trump's most notorious lawyer, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, a penultimate hurdle has been crossed, and the Biden administration has become a quasi-certitude after Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Georgia certified the results of the vote, and Trump's legal challenges were thrown out of court. And so, in short, true to himself as the unpredictable president he has been, Trump seems willing to hand over to Biden a field littered with booby traps and challenges. Otherwise, why decide to withdraw 2,500 U.S. military personnel from Afghanistan at this late hour? Why ask Secretary of State Pompeo to visit illegal Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank and Golan and reportedly meet secretly in Saudi Arabia with the Crown Prince and the Israeli Prime Minister? And why appoint a new civilian head of special operations at the Pentagon, known for his extreme right-wing views? As Americans celebrate Thanksgiving this week, the lame duck president may already be preparing their Christmas surprise.